I've managed to get the Rasa voice bot working. Um, it's been a little bit challenging for me. Just I think I, I had a couple of unlucky breaks. Um, and uh, anyway, I've I've got over those issues and got it running now. So to make it work, you need um, you know, a whole load of um, terminal processes running, uh, some which which will interpret the uh, what you say to it, some which will then provide t uh, text to speech TTS output, uh, and you need a microphone. So I've got my my trusty mic here. I actually have this rather cool um, re-speaker uh, microphone array here, which is which is actually fantastic for for this sort of application in theory. But when I'm running it through Chrome, then it's actually picking up all four channels of the microphone. It doesn't pick up the um, the the special version of the microphone uh, channel that's that's got um, just the voice it has background noise removal and so that doesn't get picked up in Chrome for some reason I need to look into that a bit more but uh, anyway so the idea is then you have you have uh, the button to click start and it will come up with this these things here it doesn't doesn't seem to say the first item uh, for some reason but once you uh, once you're in then you can click on this it's slightly slightly more awkward because you have to click every time you want to talk if I was running this on a mobile I'm sure it'd be slightly easier because it's right in your hands uh, but the setup requires that all these things, they're all supposed to be, uh, they're all interconnected web things and you need to be able to see it from the client. So uh, that doesn't work for my, um, on my mobile, the way I've got my network set up. So uh, so I have to do it through the, the desktop. So anyway, so the idea is you, you click on here and you can say something to the mic. So I'll say, what's your name? What's your name? I'm sorry, the Rasa bot. Yeah, and it's actually speak. It's a bit odd to have something called Sara uh, in my own voice, um, and so it speaks the output. Uh, I do think I'm not quite sure. Sometimes it doesn't always speak all of the output, so I don't know if it's if something's up with that. When you when you click this, then the microphone is listening, and you you can see the um, uh, see the speech waves. It basically goes up and down here if, as you talk. Sometimes it doesn't seem to get the end of the sentence. It thinks I'm still talking, uh, in which case you have to then pause it and then start to try again. So. Um, but let's see another one. Tell me about open source. So it's the Rasa is open source. We strive to provide well-maintained and documented open source tools, allowing all makers to build the best AI assistance without friction. So that's kind of cool. Um, what can I say? You can ask me about how to get started with Rasa Rasa and Rasa X subscribing to our newsletter booking a sales call. So as you can see, I mean, it's actually, it's kind of dark, but you've got the, it's actually got the output that it said there. Um, I think the client needs a bit of bit of work. It's obviously just an early version. Um, it's quite impressive it can work uh, at all. Um, you would need some way of, of uh, interacting more uh, in a more sophisticated manner with the TTS so it actually speaks things in the right way, not just a stream. Um, and I'm interested actually that it hasn't had that problem with, with listening to me um, uh, uh, where it has, has not realised I've finished speaking. But um, yeah, so that's the demo. Um, you know, it, It's definitely got potential. You could make it respond a little bit quicker because a lot of these, these text-to-speech outputs, they're all pretty standardised. So you could actually cache them all up front, which is something I've done with um, my text-to-speech server that I've got another version uh, elsewhere. So um, yeah, so there's stuff like that you can do. Um, anyway, that's that.